This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 19th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 0.07 points or 0.02% to 407.73. Total trade volume was moderate at 204,673 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 1.36 billion Khmer real or roughly 331,000 US dollars. On the main board, four stocks were up, the leader being Grand Twins International, up 1.75% or 40 real to 2,320 real per share. Hestec Cambodia followed in second, up 0.94% or 20 real to 2,140 real per share. Only two stocks were down, with the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port as the biggest loser of the day, down 3.2% or 420 real to 12,720 real per share, followed by Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, which was down 0.45% or 10 real to 2,190 real per share. On the growth board, both DBD Engineering and JS Land remained flat. The Scenic Villa Autonomous Port, which was up 0.5%, recorded the highest trade volume of the day, with 64,162 shares changing hands at a value of 695.1 million Khmer real, or over 169,000 US dollars, which accounted for around 27% of all shares traded on June 19th. On the other side of the spectrum, JS Land on the growth board only saw 147 shares get traded for a total value of roughly 132 US dollars. In other market news, Cambodia and Singapore have launched a financial transparency corridor for small and medium enterprise trade. The announcement was made by the Monetary Authority of Singapore and the National Bank of Cambodia on June 19, during Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Manet's official state visit to Singapore. According to the announcement, the Financial Transparency Corridor is a consent-based digital infrastructure and network between financial institutions in Cambodia and Singapore that aim to catalyze increased trade and cross-border related financial services between small and medium-sized enterprises in both countries. The idea is that the ease of data accessibility will enable participating financial institutions to make better credit risk assessments and facilitate greater availability of financing for SME trade between Singapore and Cambodia. It was also announced that from Cambodia, the first batch of participating financial institutions are ABA Bank, Akleda Bank, Philip Bank, Satapana Bank, and Wing Bank, while from Singapore, the participating financial institutions are Annexed Bank, Liquid Group, and Singh Investments and Finance Limited. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,120 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.22. Oil prices eased slightly during trade on Wednesday but held near their highest levels in seven weeks, as the market weighed concerns over escalating conflicts against demand worries following an unexpected build in U.S. crude inventories. Brent crude futures eased 17 cents to 85.16 U.S. dollars a barrel. Gold prices, meanwhile, edged higher after softer U.S. retail sales data boosted expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve will cut interest rates this year. Spot gold was up 0.1% at 2,328.67 US dollars per ounce, and US gold futures fell 0.2% to 2,330.30 US dollars. Over in the US, stock markets will be closed today for the Juneteenth holiday. However, on Tuesday, when the Cambodian markets were closed for the public holiday marking the Queen Mother's birthday, the S&P 500 added 0.3% to 5,487.03, setting an all-time high for the 31st time this year. The Nasdaq Composite edged up less than 0.1% to 17,862.23, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.2% to 38,834.86. This was Darshan Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for June 19th.